Jesus knew he'd soon die. His disciples would scatter and leave him alone. But Jesus knew he was never alone. His father would always be with him. So just before Jesus died, he prayed. We read Jesus' prayer in John chapter 17. Let's hear what Jesus prayed. Jesus knew his time had come. He'd soon die. So Jesus prayed. He prayed that he would bring glory to his father. The world would see a dead man on the cross. But everyone who believed would see Jesus in all of his glory, dying for the world his father loved, bringing glory to God. Jesus prayed for his disciples, for men like Peter and Andrew, James and John. For three years, Jesus' disciples followed him everywhere. They had seen Jesus do amazing things and they had heard Jesus speak God's words. But the world hated Jesus because of what he had said and done. And the world would hate his disciples because they followed him. So Jesus prayed that his disciples would be kept safe. And then Jesus prayed for us for Christians everywhere who would believe what the disciples said about him. Jesus could have prayed for many things, but he prayed just one, that we would come together as one. There are lots and lots and lots of us, but Jesus prayed that we would all be one, together for Jesus, so that the world would know that God is one. How amazing to think that 2,000 years ago, Jesus prayed for you and for me. Jesus could have prayed for many things, but he prayed just one, that we would come together as one, just as he and the Father are one, one in love and one in truth. Children, if we love one another deeply and hold firmly to God's truth, then the world will know that Jesus and God are one.